A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Then each of them went home. While Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, early in the morning, he came again to the temple. All the people came to him and sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and making her stand before all of them, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of committing adultery. Now in the law of Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. Now what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote in the ground. When they heard it, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with the woman, standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, sir. And Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go your way, and from now on, do not sin again. The Gospel of the Lord. Um, today's Gospel reflection, or today's Gospel, I think really talks about Jesus' prime teachings of forgiveness and of compassion. Now, um, for any of you in the Mansfield area, you will know, or you might not know, but the, the Mansfield um, churches, so primarily St. Philip's, have set up a WhatsApp group. And every day, if, if you go onto this link, and, and anybody across our trust can do this, if you go onto the link, Father Jonathan is sending out a, a gospel reflection every day. Now, we have thank, to thank um, Sister Susan and Mary, who are resident at St. Joseph's in Shirebrook, for our gospel reflection today. And, and they've put this together for us. To ponder, Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger. I wonder what he wrote. In the Old Testament, when God wrote the Ten Commandments, he did it with his finger. Do you judge people quickly and ask questions later? Do you live by the values which are in scripture? How do you love the sinner, but not love the sin? Do you really stop to think about how loving and merciful God is to you? They then went on to tell this story. There's a story told of a lady who was said to have dreams and messages from God. A person who had committed a sin early in life and was constantly reminded of, of it wanted to test her and asked the lady if, in her dreams, God had told her about her sin. That night, the lady dreamt and asked God, the next day, the lady was met and asked, Well, did you dream? Did God tell you of my sin? The lady said, I asked God, but he said he'd forgotten. We are so lucky to have a merciful and forgiving God. Um, and I know it's difficult in this time, isn't it? Because we can't actually get out and go to confession. But you can still say your sorry prayers at home. You can still offer up um, that prayer to God. And Father Jonathan Whitby Smith has then noted, that you can use this act of contrition, or your own words, after you've said your sorry prayers. My God, I'm so sorry for my sins with all my heart. In choosing to do wrong and failing to do good, I have sinned against you who I'm sh whom I should love above all things. I firmly intend, with your help, to do penance, to sin no more and to avoid whatever leads me to sin. Our Saviour, Jesus Christ, suffered and died for us. In his name, my God, have mercy. Amen.